all right, I guess we just jump back in it. Wow. A year and a half later, we are finally back with season two of the Troop Podcast. Welcome, everybody. It's, it's, been, it's been a minute. It's been a minute, and I feel like I have some explaining to do. Um, I think April, tw- yeah, April of 2022 was the last podcast episode, and wow, life has been a whirlwind since then. Um, And I think a part of this podcast, you know, with bringing it back, I really want to share some insight into not only the life that I have lived in the industry so far and, you know, share some insight and wisdom and and, um, kind of some lessons from what have I experienced and the success and achievements that I've had in the industry and also training other dancers. But I want to also be transparent and bring you all into the journey that I'm in now, kind of post career, because I haven't been focused on the industry so much. You know, I left the industry and I kind of like haven't been focused on traveling as much or anything. I kind of slowed all of that down so that I could really just focus on my business and building the company and figuring out what does life look like now beyond my dance and choreography career because I know I want to focus on this, focus on doing my own thing, focus on building my own thing. And that takes a lot of energy. It takes a lot of research. It it just takes a lot of time and resources and finances. You know, it takes a lot. And then, so I wanted to really, really um, focus on this. And it's been quite a transition. You know, it feels like you're starting all over again. You're starting from square one again. You're you're a newbie, uh, I guess, kind of when it when it comes to to business. So it's been quite a transition period in 2022. You know, right before or right after the first or that last episode of the podcast ended, I was like hardcore in super camp mode. You know, if you listen to the last season, I talked about it a lot. You know, it's an event that I'm really proud of and inspired by and excited to organize each year. And that was my first one. And yeah, I would just was putting in a lot of time and energy into making that happen and did make it happen and it was really successful it went really well it was sold out people said it was a life-changing experience for them it, we had a beautiful time like it was it was very heavy emotionally physically mentally it was everything I wanted it to be and more um and with that being said it took everything out of me <laughs> I was already uh pretty pretty burnt and getting through super camp it like drained all the last of me out of me and uh yeah it just really took a toll on me and i just was running on fumes for the rest of the year going into 2023 i was already burnt out and i kind of 2023 was just really a, a mess for me it was like you know there were some wins you know what i mean there was definitely some ups some some good moments but i just was drain the whole year 2023 was just not the year for me (laughs) it was not the year a lot of mistakes made a lot of lessons learned um but i would say it set me up for the year that we are in now the moment that we're in now i feel really good i feel good mentally um i feel good spiritually and i'm very optimistic uh about the about the future i just needed to take time i needed to gained some perspective. I was just kind of confused about where I wanted to go um, next in life with myself personally, with myself professionally, with the business. I was just experimenting so much. And yeah, it just it just took a toll. And yeah, I kind of crashed and burned in 2023. But towards the end of the year, I was able to have some time and really reflect. And I just kind of cut out all distractions and gave myself time to really just reflect on the last few years of my life, my career, everything, take it all in and figure out, okay, what needs to be removed, what needs to stay, and whatever is going to stay, whatever we are going to focus on, let's take that to the next level. Let's like really zero in, 
keep the distractions um, at bay. Keep them, keep them away from me achieving what I know I can achieve and seeing everything be what it really, really could be. I say all that. I say all that to say that I'm very excited <laughs> to be at this point now and to have the podcast back and to bring you all in on that journey because I feel like with the lessons and everything that I'm going to experience and I have experienced so far, I'll be able to share some insight because you, you too, everybody will get to this point at some time where you're looking to do the next thing. You're, you're, you know, you, you will, you won't dance forever. We, none of us dance forever. And at some point you will want to do something differently. And, and I guess what I would say right now from what I've learned thus far is to be patient with yourself be patient with this transition period and and to don't be afraid to do nothing. Don't be afraid, you know, when you, you know, my career was like, go, 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 nonstop, right? It was always something. I was working on something I was doing. And it felt weird to slow down and and have a different pace at life. And it was definitely needed for me to like fully like stop, <laughs> stop and be bored for a moment, reflect for a moment and figure out, okay, what are we doing? <laughs> what are we doing? And, and, and even if you don't have all the answers of where everything will go, at least what are the next two steps? Let's get clear on that and let's go for that. And, and just trust the rest of the, the rest of the staircase will reveal itself in time. But first we need to sit down for a moment, be quiet, be bored, no stimulation, and just zone in and process everything. So I just wanna start with that. Uh, for a lot of you probably listening, that probably won't matter to you much uh, until later on in life, but but yeah, I definitely want to be able to share what I what I'm learning along this journey, um, and, and also keep in have you keep in mind that there is a life beyond this this dance career, and I think that is very important for the following generations to think about, you know, because it happens sooner than you may realize, you know, and for some people it happens way sooner than they thought it would you know they 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 get on jobs and you know their career takes off and you know they kind of do everything that they wanted to do within a few years and then they you know you have so much life <laughs> ahead of you after that so what do you do from there where do you go from there and it can be kind of scary to be honest but you and me we have the power and, and the creativity uh, and, and the wisdom to, and the resources and the people to support us in our next phase. Uh, and, and if you are in the thick of it, if you are in the middle of your career, I will say what is help, helping me now is one, keeping my mind open and learning from every experience that I come across and every person that I come across and also maintaining those relationships because they can help you more easily transition into that next thing that you want to do. So, so yeah, I want to start there. That's kind of where life has been so far. Um, and yeah, this year, 2024, I'm, I'm just really excited to keep moving forward with, with the, the, the few ideas that I have been executing on, you know, with the company, with my events, with the product that I'm going to be putting out. I want to just, um, I know at what level I can execute and I want to execute at that, at that level. You know, I think when I was trying to figure out exactly what life is going to look like, I, you know, I wasn't executing the, I was kind of falling off in execution in some kind of areas. Um, and then also my confidence was affected you know, because I was used to be so sure of what I wanted to do next. And, you know, I started to hesitate and doubt certain things. And that's a weird, weird space to be in. I'm sure all of you can relate with that and have felt that at some point. 
But yeah, anyways, we back now. We back in this thing. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to move this forward. Uh, and I just want to enjoy it too. I want to enjoy doing this podcast. I want to enjoy connecting with everybody and pouring into you uh, as much as I can possibly pour into you. Um, so let's go get this one going. The, the focus with this episode, um, as you may see from the title, is like how to speed up your growth. That's what I want to focus on. And it may go in a direction that you may not, might, may not expect, but just trust me, trust the process. Um, so this next section, I want to first actually start off with a, a scripture that I read the, the other day. It's Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes 3 and 22. And it says, so I saw that there is nothing better for a person than to enjoy their work because that is their lot for who can bring them to see what will happen after them. And that really hit me and has been on my mind a lot lately because I can be very obsessed with the future and what's coming next and uh and and I really think it's kind of like trying to be in control trying to feel like I have some kind of control over life you know we tend to do that (laughs) uh as human beings we like to have life be predictable so we can prepare ourselves right um but what um really got from that really the whole book of Ecclesiastes but that that scripture is like you got to just enjoy the work that you're in now enjoy the the moment that you're in now because absolutely nothing is guaranteed that and, and we know this right we know tomorrow is not guaranteed but I even took it as like success is not guaranteed uh that goal that you're going after is not guaranteed. None of it. There is absolutely no guarantees in life. The only thing you have is what you are doing right now. And you need to enjoy that. Enjoy that. Enjoy the, I know we say in, enjoy the, the process, but it, it's deeper than that. What I take from that is like one, choose work that you will enjoy. Because like it says, that, that is, that's pretty, it's pretty much saying like that is your life. There's other, another scripture in there that also talks about like to just eat and drink and be glad, like enjoy the, the simple things. So it, 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 it's that, like I'm trying to remember to not be so in a rush, not, not be so, obs- no, so obsessed with like, I got to get there. I got to get to that next achievement. I got to get to that next phase in life. I got to have it all figured out. No, you don't. Like just the, you, you take what you have in front of you, what you've been given. Enjoy that. Enjoy that. Do something with that. Do the most you can with with that, right? Because that is that kind of, you know, the day-to-day, the simple things, the work we're doing now that is our life life is not happening over there later tomorrow next week life is not happening once you achieve this goal or once you move to the place you want to move to you know all we have is this moment that we have right now and i know that kind of sounds cliche and we talk so much about being present but for me, it's, it's, it's deeper, it's deeper than that. It's like, I want to enjoy every aspect of my life. It's not just about being in the moment, but I want to, I want to, man, I want to, I want to in, in, enjoy this. I don't want to think about how well this pro- podcast is going to do. I don't want to think about people what people's opinions are going to be of me when they hear this podcast I don't want to think about what it's going to do what it's going to achieve any of that I want to enjoy it I want to enjoy this moment in my I got a roof over my head you know I got this candle going you know I, I I'm sitting here preparing and planning mapping it all out I want to enjoy that I want to in enjoy setting up the camera i want to enjoy editing the video i want to enjoy every aspect of it and not be in such a rush to get to the 
the product, the end goal. You know what I mean? Because, you know, we just end up rushing through everything, rushing through life, you know? And I was telling this to some of the dancers in the company uh, earlier this week about like, there's dancers who are on jobs. I've been one of them. You're on the job and you're thinking about the next job. Okay, what's gonna happen after this? <laughs> you're thinking about when it's gonna end you know, or you're, or, or you're, I, I used to do this. I used to be bad with doing this. Or you're comparing yourself to other dancers that are on the job. Or you're thinking about, what does a choreographer think of me? You know, it's all this other extra stuff that's going on that takes you away from enjoying the work. Take, like, you, this is what you signed up for. This was the goal. This was the dream. And we steal it from ourselves. We allow those moments to be stolen because of ego and anxiety and and all this other kind of stuff, trying to please people, trying to impress people, wanting to be accepted. All this kind of stuff steals the joy and enjoyment out of what we're doing and enjoyment out of our work. And I, it, I just keep thinking about life is only this moment. That's all life is. Life is not the future. Life, life, this is the life. <laughs> I, I, I think we, sometimes we get caught up in like waiting to begin life. Like it, it, my life's gonna start later on, you know, but you're building the story, you're crafting the story right now, you know, what is it? What, what when you know when you are older and you get to reflect on the story that you've crafted the 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 journey that you've lived you know i want i, I you know for me I, I definitely want to make it a story that i really enjoy and it wasn't just about the big moments but i can tell a story about just a regular day <laughs> and how special just that regular day was you know I don't know. I'm kind of I'm kind of a weirdo, but <laughs> but uh, but yeah. I hope you take something from that. Um, and that just makes me think of the current state of dance right now. I I think some great things, some amazing things are happening with dance. Um, but I also feel like I get a sense, and y'all could tell me if I'm wrong. I would love to hear y'all feedback on this. But I just get a sense that everybody's like rushing and there's just so much going on. There's so many classes, there's so many events, there's so much content, there's so much information. There's just so much happening and it's all in our face at all times. It feels like everyone is looking at each other and trying to play catch up with each other as if we're like in some kind of race that's for one that's one thing i'm seeing that's one thing i'm hearing a lot about you know is obviously the constant comparison we all know that that's a big issue uh, of what's going on right now but also people are rushing their development of like people are going from like never danced before to master classes and even a lot of the questions that people presented for me today to answer I feel like I can answer them all in the same way a lot of it was like how do I get better at this how do I get better at that how do I improve my freestyle how do I pick up choreography faster but it's really like everyone's just not not just trying to get better but everybody wants to get better at like this hyper speed right so my message for today if you want to speed up your growth you actually need to slow down. You need to scale it back a little bit. You need to really allow yourself to process the information that is being given to you. We need to be focused on execution over speed. I see a lot of dancers when they're training and they're so focused on getting the step fast and they're so focused on the, their retention and their memorization of steps if you want to learn choreography faster, you first need to spend time on learning how to execute better. You 
need to spend time on developing your vocabulary, right? I'll put, I'll put it like this. Think about this. If I was to have two scripts in English and I were, were to give them to two different actors and one speaks fluent English and then one speaks Spanish, who do you think is going to learn the script faster? Obviously, the person who speaks English fluently, right? Because they're not trying to learn a language and learn the script. They're just learning the script, right? But sometimes that's what's happening in, in class is, is you're bogged down by trying to learn how to actually do the move or learn what the move is and where it comes from. And your body doesn't understand it. Your body doesn't have that within you. It's not within your muscle memory. So that's what's slowing you down from continuously progressing throughout the, the choreography. And it's the same thing with freestyle. You don't have the vocabulary to progress, to sustain a three minute long song. You, you, do, you haven't developed yourself enough. You haven't gotten in enough reps. You haven't taken the time to really understand your body. You haven't taken the time to really understand music, right? So there's fo fundamental foundational things that are missing. And if you want to go faster, you need to go backwards. You need to slow down. Go through those steps first, right? Learn the language first. And then get your reps in with memorization. And that's really all picking up choreography faster is. You just have to get the reps in, right? If somebody who, oh, let's go back to the script thing. If I give it to two different people and maybe, okay, they both speak English, that's both their first language, but one has memorized and learned 10 scripts and one person, this is their first script, Who's gonna learn it faster? The person who has done this 10 times already before, right? It's gonna be the same thing with class. Don't rush it. Like we're, we're trying to be too advanced. We're trying to, we just are skipping so many steps. And I think that's how the training environment has gotten kind of hectic. Is we're, kind of, we're trying to accomplish and do too much at one time. We need to focus one thing at a time. So you need to assess wherever you are in your journey. Maybe it's not learning choreography faster. Maybe it, it, it's, it's not freestyle. Maybe there's other things. Maybe you are a more advanced dancer and maybe you need to get better at auditioning or you need to get better at, um, you, need to, you need to learn how to create a better headshot. Get your reps in with taking photos. Take your own photos. See how you like to pose. See what, what um, like what kind of styling looks best on you and your body. Figure those things out. Get your reps in. Have test shoots with yourself. Just shoot yourself or have a friend shoot you or something before you go and do headshots, right? Um, if it's networking, get your reps in. Just talk to, be a conversationalist. Learn how to start a conversation and, and hold a conversation with someone, just a random person. Just start experimenting and testing, right? But I think we just need to, uh, to, to slow down, process what's going on, and allow ourselves time to learn and develop. So that's going to be kind of my, my message today. And that's my inspiration between, behind Super Camp this year is really just slowing down. I don't know if you've seen it yet, but we're doing a retreat this year, a four-day retreat. It's a dream of mine to do something like this in a location like this. We're going to uh, a space called Jacob's Pillow, which was kind of created by a choreographer as a dancer's retreat, and it's up. It's in uh, 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 Beckett. I, I hope I'm not saying it wrong. Beckett, Massachusetts, in the Berkshires, which is like a, a, a forest in mountain range. So we're going to be up in the mountains, in the forest, detached and away from everything, all in the spirit of slowing down, really taking time to connect with one another, be present, let's avoid social media, avoid the algorithm, avoid all of that, even with the choreographers coming in. I don't want people to come in and bring something that was influenced by anything outside of that moment that we're in. 
So the choreographers are making up everything on the spot, inspired by who's in the room, inspired by the setting, inspired by what they were feeling that day, that morning. Everything's happening in the moment. I really wanted to feel like an, an artist's retreat, like the ultimate artist's retreat in paradise. And I just want to get up there and connect with nature, connect with the art form on a deeper level, connect with the community that, that will be there. That's, that's what I'm feeling and it's on my heart and, and soul. Uh, in that moment of just slowing down and taking time to reflect um, at the end of last year is what really in, in inspired it. it. The the fact that I took time to slow down and reflect, um, but also when I was taking that time, I was just sitting and really connecting with like, what is, who who am I? Okay, all of these ideas and whatnot I'm doing is great and all, but how can I make it even more specific to me, my perspective, my lens on the world, my, um, my taste, right? I want to have my signature on everything that I do because that's what's going to make it special. We can bring in all kinds of different choreographers, but those choreographers are also at other events, right? Um, we can have, we can have classes, we can do we can have Q and A's, we can do things that are more common now, but how can we twist it in a way that's very specific to what I believe in, what I have seen, what I have experienced in all of my years of training and developing dancers, but also just me as a person and as an artist, the things that have helped me. You know, whenever I go out into nature, into the forest, I come back so clear, I come back grounded, I come back inspired. You know, I, I, I really see God as the ultimate creator, the ultimate artist. So every time I go out there, one of my favorite places is uh, Sequoia National Park. And when I go up there, I'm just so humbled. <laughs> and I just come back a lot more clear. And that's, those are kind of the opportunities I want to create is for a group of artists, a group of dancers and choreographers for us to go to a place and have that moment and be able to have that moment together, right? And be able to experience it together. It's really amazing. It's cool to, to do it by myself and have that moment, but I'm just excited to like, what is it going to feel like? What is it going to feel like for a group of people, a collective of people to all have that moment together? I think that's going to be really really special and it's just so it's it's so me anybody who knows me knows how much I, I i love nature and being around wildlife specifically the forest uh and in the mountains so yeah i think that's going to be a, a really 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 beautiful experience i didn't want to take this time i definitely obviously i want to mention it and talk about it i'm excited about it i believe in it so much um but i didn't want to make this podcast really about promoting super camp i think it's just it's within that vein of um i think we need to take moments to really stop stop and focus and dig deeper you know that's what it is it's like really marinate on something it feels like life is just blazing by sometimes these days because we're so stimulated all the time and so much is going on and we got all these screens in our faces all the time um and and I, I don't know it just feels like things are going by so fi fast and, and and dancers are seeing so much and consuming so much information that not a lot of it is really being meditated on you know so that's why a lot of people are kind of uh, a like a little bit lost is because they have all this different thing that things that they've heard, been told, feel like they should be doing, and it can be kind of like overwhelming. Okay, where do I go? Where do, what do I attack first? I don't even know where to start. I'm trying to remember this, 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 and this. It's like, let all of that go. Take, take time um, to, whether it's journaling, meditating, or all of it, take time to really reflect on what do I need in this moment for me? 
And I know we all know, we have this awareness throughout all of my career of, of teaching. I have dancers come up to me all the time and say, you know, what do I need to work on? Nine times out of 10, what I tell them is not anything new. It's something that they knew already. But there's a difference between what you know and what you're acting on, what you're executing on, right? And that's a big, big thing for me in my life right now, in my career, in, in, in my visions. Ideas, that's great, cool. But what, how are you executing? Potential, you can have all the potential in the world, but how much of that potential are you actually manifesting, right? You can have an awareness of what you need to do for your career, you, how you need to market yourself. Um, you can have an awareness of what great art is, great choreography, great styling, but how close are you getting to that? How much are you acting on? And the only way to make progress is to focus, is to really zone in, eliminate all distractions and say, I'm going this way and I'm not allowing anything and anyone to take me off of course. I have things that I want to accomplish. I know what I personally need to do to advance and I'm going to act on it. And until I have gotten great at that thing, until I have accomplished what I said I want to accomplish, I'm not looking anywhere else. I'm focused on this. Uh, that's my biggest, it's the biggest thing that has been on my mind lately since the end of last year is I know what I can do. I know what it's supposed to look like but it doesn't look like what I needed to look like. The troop brand wasn't looking like what I needed to look like. It wasn't being presented how I wanted it to be presented. Um, Super camp wasn't what I needed it to be. It didn't look like what I need. It wasn't executed how I know it's supposed to be executed, how I know it's supposed to be promoted and marketed. Um, uh, and, and yeah, I think there's like several things where, that I just, took a step back and was like, this is not how I envisioned it. And I need to start figuring out, instead of like trying to juggle and do a lot of things kinda good, I need to do a few things, the few things that I know I want to go the distance and I know I'm really, really passionate about, I need to do those things really well. And and and, and mind you, those things, those few things end up following falling under one thing and ends up following under um, the the true brand. It's just extensions of that. But I'm not trying to experiment and do 60 different things anymore. <laughs> I'm zoned in on very few things and just trying to execute those at the highest level. It's all about execution. So if you want to speed up your growth, slow down, focus on execution, and before you know it, you'll start getting really good really fast. So actionable steps. This is what I want you to take with you. Um, I know you're going to be training this week, I would assume. So if you're going to go take class, I either want you to really slow down in class and really focus on doing the steps right, regardless of how fast everybody else is learning. Because a lot of times everybody else is learning, like a lot of people are learning it really fast, but doing it completely wrong. Focus on your execution and your development and getting better at the step. Yeah, it's, it's either that or you're taking choreography home with you and you're practicing it really, really, really slow. Do not move on to step two if step one doesn't look exactly how you want to look, uh, exactly how you want it to look. And practice for execution, not memory. So practice it slow, but slow with execution. How do you want it to feel? And then slowly start speeding it up, right? So slow with execution. And, and also, I would say, like, slow down life. Take a moment this week to be bored. I think it's very important for artists to be bored. We need time to do nothing, to just sit and just like think, let our mind wander with no stimulus, no, no, no music even, no music, no social media, no TV, nothing. 
just sit just sit and see and see where that takes you and see what hits your mind and even if it's things that you need to face a lot of anxiety comes from you not facing something you know you need to face doing something you know you need to do but what's crazy is so much peace comes after facing it even if you face start facing it a little bit like your subconscious is like thank you i've been trying to warn you i've been trying to tell you this whole time you know that's all those feelings are is is it's just this uh, amazing system that god has put in us to warn us about things that are going on in our life things that we need to be aware of things that we need to look out for things that we need to face right so i really encourage you to take that time and whatever comes up let it come up and face it and, and deal with it you'll be better for it i promise you so yeah i think we're going to leave off episode one with that i hope i hope this blessed you and encouraged you um and yeah i, just, I want to hear feedback after you've listened to this and applied some of this let me know throughout the week how this has impacted you and also i want to hear from everybody like what you guys want to hear in these episodes what you would like to see i have my idea of things that i want to do um but yeah, I would love to hear from all the listeners and people who have been following and even listening to the old episodes over and over again since a year and a half ago. Much love to you. Thank you so much. Thank you for the love and support. Um, it, it's really cool to have this to have this medium. And, and uh, I, 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 I meant to mention this earlier, but the reason I'm doing this is because this is how I feel like I can be most impactful at this point in in my career for anybody who's not in LA is not in my company and things like that um I I, I feel like I'm, you know I'm not dancing in the videos as much anymore obviously I'm still choreographing I'm still teaching all that kind of stuff but you're not seeing me dance as much anymore um but I feel like this will help way more actually than just seeing me dance I think people seeing how you execute things can help for sure and that's important but uh i have a lot that i want to share and speak on a lot i've been through a lot of experience and i feel like this is the best way to do it and i'll be doing interviews i'll be bringing in friends and people from the, the community to share insight and wisdom and stories and all that kind of stuff as well but yeah i'm, I'm just excited to connect in this kind of way so thank you for listening make sure you are subscribed whether it's on youtube or or uh, apple Podcasts or spotify make sure you're subscribed and we'd love to hear from you much love enjoy your day enjoy your week